Hi, my name is Susan Rausch. I'm a staff physician here at Virginia Mason Sleep Disorder Center. So it may seem like it's not very much, but even one hour associated with the time change can absolutely affect us in terms of our mood, our biological rhythms, meaning when we eat, when we want to be act active, and importantly, when we want to go to bed and when we want to get up. So here's three tips to help with coping with the time change this weekend. First of all, you need to be getting in and out of bed as close to your usual time that you will be next week. Secondly, light is an incredibly important, what we call anchor. So when you get up in the morning, you need to have a strong light on you. Don't get up and take a shower with a five watt light bulb. You really need to have a strong light to anchor you. And it's important not to have, to do things the night before that are gonna bother your sleep, such as alcohol or late caffeine, because we want you to have a good night's sleep so that you can get back into a good schedule for next week. To have a regular time in bed and enough time in bed is extremely important. And for most adults, meaning mid-20s and older, we need seven to nine hours. So getting adequate sleep is very important to how we feel and also to our health.